So clearly is and to protect the institution. Yes. And that's wrong. Absolutely. And it's wrong for a Democrat and it's wrong for Republicans. I don't think I'm telling tales out of school here. No, I think he told the same thing to you. Yeah, that's right. true. Um, but he said Mike Pompeo called him and said this would be a catastrophe to release these. You need to not do it. Why is the Democratic Party suing me in frivolous cases? On I what ground? spent a whole week in, in a trial for that case. For two cases they brought another week in another trial or another case. Are you had to pay for this? It's Causing me $10 million to defend myself. Sick. Where will RFK end up in the Trump campaign, in the Trump administration? RFK was out with Tucker Carlson, and he was asked specifically about running the CIA. As we know, many people suspect that the CIA killed his dad, or was at least involved in it, and killed his uncle, or was at least involved in it, knew about it, and allowed it to happen. Similar patterns to what we're seeing here with J13. But Tucker Carlson had on RFK Jr., and here's what it sounded like. Like. So the oh. CIA, I mean, a lot of roads lead back, unfortunately, to our most powerful intelligence agency. If you were asked, would you run it? Would you become CIA director if you were asked? Uh, yes, I would, but I would never get Senate confirmation. As you know, the intelligence agency are protected by very, very powerful committees in the Senate and in the House that are all read into the project. And the people who serve on those committees are people who would, they're just safeguarding that directorship. And I would be very, very dangerous for those, those committees. So I don't think that I and yet in his, you know, in your joint appearance on Friday, President Trump introduced you by saying that he plans to, if elected, establish a commission to you know, declassify the remaining documents around your uncle's murder in 1963. Yeah. And I think everyone at this point knows the truth, which is the CIA is implicated in that. Those documents protect CIA, maybe among others. Well, whether they do or not, I mean, it's odd that they've not allowed them to be released. Yeah, let's see. What could possibly be the explanation? More than 60 years after my uncle's death, almost 65 years. Oh, it's 62 years after his death. And none of the people who were implicated in that crime are alive now. Yes. And the last ones have died off in the last year or two. So clearly is and to protect the institution. Yes. And that's wrong. Absolutely. And it's wrong for a Democrat and it's wrong for Republicans. It's just interesting, though, that a bipartisan list of presidents low these, these six decades have kept those files classified. Yep. Well, you and I have both. I was astonished that Trump didn't declassify him because he promised to during the campaign. That was Mike Pompeo. Who did that? Yeah, and that I talked to President Trump for the first time about that this week. And what did he, he say? He said that Mike Pompeo begged him to. I don't think I'm telling tales out of school here. No, I, I think he told the same thing to you. Yeah, that's right? true. Um, but he said Mike Pompeo called him and said this would be a catastrophe to release these. You need to not do it. And yeah. that, sick. I want to say again, I think Mike Pompeo is a criminal. Yeah. So that's my Thank view. you, Tucker. You're He's right. He's threatened to sue me for saying that, but I hope he will because that's true. <laughs> but that kind of tells the whole story right there. What a piece of work. Right? That the CIA. Is. Well, yeah. So that's the Why would the CIA be trying to keep these files classified if it's they had nothing to do with the murder? Yeah. I don't really get that. Yeah. Yeah. Unbelievable. He is a criminal and he's a traitor to this country. This is our right to know what our institutions are doing. And if they took out and assassinated one of our presidents or were implicated in it or knew about it or whatever, that is treason. That is traitorous conduct from our own government institution, killing our own president. And then Pompeo begs Trump. Trump should have released it anyways. Trump should have told Pompeo to get out of my Oval Office and released it. And I am so hopeful that that mistake is corrected once we win again, because this truth does need to come out. It's reprehensible that that has not happened yet. Nick Sorter also clipped this one for us from another one from RFK from Colin Rugg, actually. Colin Rugg is saying that RFK said, we've been sued into oblivion. The Democrats are monstrous. They did the same thing to Trump. We've been talking about it for years now. It's nice to have some other evidence that this is happening to other campaigns also. Which we saw for the first time in American history of the judiciary to get rid of candidates. You know, what they tried to do to me, they're suing me now in a dozen states. I've been in trials for the past three weeks. You know, Crazy. I've spent most of my time not campaigning. Good but, job, but Democrats. Being, sitting in court in cases that are trying to get me off the ballot. So, like, I had a million people, a million American citizens sign petitions more than any candidate in history. That's a lot. Everybody said I'd never do this. It's impossible to be in the ballot in 50 cents. Well, guess what? We got on the ballot in 50 states and we did it by getting a million citizens to sign petitions saying that they wanted to vote for me. And the Democratic Party now is suing me in all those states to make sure that those people cannot vote for the person they wanted. When I was growing up, the Democratic Party was of RFK and JFK was the party that was fighting for voting rights. It was fighting to make sure that every American could vote for the candidate of their choice, no matter whether they're black or white or where they lived or Democrat or Republican. Now the Democratic Party today. 
today's Democratic Party feels so unconfident about the candidates that it's putting forward. And it feels the only way it can win the election is by getting rid of the opponents. It's not and, you know, Democratic either using the all. courts against President Trump to lock him in jail yeah. and to embarrass With and humiliate plane, and discredit yeah. him or using the courts against me to uh, just to throw me off the ballot, even though the voters, you know, in New York State, I had to get 45,000 ballot signatures in 13 congressional districts. I got 137,000 in all 26 congressional districts. I did twice when anybody wants, and it, we did it easily because people wanted to see money on ballot. New Yorkers wanted to see me on the ballot. Why is the Democratic Party suing me in frivolous cases? On I what spent ground? a whole week in, in a trial for that case. For two cases, they brought another week in another trial or another case. And you had to pay for this? It's costing me $10 million to defend myself. So, $10 million because the Democrats can't win fair and square. Can you just debate him? Can you just have a conversation with him or let the voters decide? No. They have to unleash all of their lawyers and their millions of dollars from their billionaires to go take out actual candidates in America. These are the same people, the same party that then turn around and lecture us about democracy when they're the most anti-democratic, most dictatorial people in modern American history.